Hi, my name is Karen Ross, and today I want to talk to you guys about spotting out fake profiles on Facebook. Some of these people are scammers, some of them just create fake pages for catfishing. I'm not really sure all the reasons why they do it. I'm going to go to the first one. And the first thing you always want to look at is the name. A lot of times when people have a pick out a name on Facebook, they will use a first name for a last name or vice versa. So this particular person had sent a friend request to my mom and my mom was talking to me about it. And this is especially important with now we have the, the older generation getting on Facebook and they really don't understand how easy it is to create a fake page. My mom really, bless her heart, she really thought this was a real guy. She said, well, he's from California, but he's, he's overseas right now. So the first thing I'm going to look at is look at their picture. Most of the time you have a flawless picture. It almost looks like a, a paparazzi picture. Whereas, you know as well as I do, most people, you take the photos yourself. So it's a selfie type photo. Um, I'm also going to look at his photos. He has nothing to show except for one photo. So I'm going to go to his timeline, look at their timeline. Okay, there is nothing on his timeline. A lot of times these profiles will not last very long because they can't verify it or somebody reports it as a fake page. Now, in the introduction section, a lot of times people are using um, their status as widowed. And I'm not saying everybody who's widowed, it is a fake page. It doesn't mean it. You have to look at everything as a whole. You kind of have to piece it together. You can't just look at one thing. I couldn't just look at his picture and say, ah, this is a fake page because his photo looks too good. So he is the most common thing that men for these pages will use is either something to do with the Marines, the Army, um, CEO, or something to do with the oil company. He is saying that he lives in Garden Grove, California, but he is a marine engineer at this particular company. So go to their about section. And Mr. Patrick Victor has, um, we are going to click on every single one, places he's lived, contact and basic info, nothing to show. Family and relationships, nothing to show. Details, nothing to show. So, if I were looking at this page, I would say this is not a, a real person. Well, he, he is a real person. He, she, it, whatever it is, because obviously they started a Facebook page. But it is not who are they are portraying themselves to be. Uh, Mr. John Fargo had sent me a friend request. A lot of times people will see it and they'll say, well, I have four mutuals with this person. So that must mean that they're real. Not once again. I look at his name, Fargo. I think of Fargo Wells. Click on his picture and once again, it looks like a paparazzi shot. Just looks way too good. So... I am going to go to work in education. He is a freelance writer in Dallas, Texas. He is self-employed, places he's lived. Now, right away, I'm looking at this. He is from the Shazak Republic, but he currently lives in Dallas, Texas. Hmm. It, it could be 
it, it's plausible, but there aren't too many people who come from another country and are living in Dallas, Texas. Contact and basic info. Now, here's what, what I noticed. Okay, I'm going to look at his birth date. He was born in 1980. Well, I'm all about youth, but 1980, he is younger than me. I'm sorry, he does not look like he was born in 1980. <clears throat> he looks a little bit older than that. Family and relationships, nothing. Details, nothing. Life events. Okay, we just have his, his date of birth. Timeline, once again. We're going to scroll through his timeline and there's nothing. Now, a lot of times with these fake profiles, they will either have a lot of friends or they will have only a couple. Um, Mr. John Fargo has over 2,000, but Patrick Victor, uh, he changed it. He only had eight. So, last time I checked, he had eight. He must have changed that. Now, another thing you can look at is the time that they are messaging you. Most of the time, since they are not in the area where they say they are, they will send you a message at you know, in your time, 1 a.m. and say, good morning, dear. A lot of times if you address them and you ask questions, they will not even respond to the question simply because they are not understanding because they are speaking a different language. I am going to go to, most of the time, the, the male fake profile pages, from my understanding, they really do not ask for more money. I know there are some that do. I don't know why they create them. I think it's just to get women or maybe men to send them photos. And you never know. You send somebody these photos and they could be floating out all over the internet. You don't know who this person is. Don't Send them photos, please. So I am going to go to a female's page. Um, Alia Grice. And I have 60 mutual friends with her. I am going to go to her photos. And if you notice, she has more than one. She has more than one photo. Okay. Now, another thing... On her photos, her first photo, love my family. It is public. Now, I'm on Facebook. And when I post photos, I tag everybody. This person has a lot of friends on Facebook. So most likely, one of, one of these three people are on her Facebook page. There is nobody tagged, okay? Now, some people don't tag people. But nobody commented. There wasn't somebody that said, thanks, that was a great lunch, dinner, whatever. This one, my beautiful nieces. Once again, there are no tags. There are no comments. Okay. Probably because the people that she is using in these photos do not, she doesn't know them. She is using somebody else's photos. So, and they do that in order to give the appearance that this is a real page, when in reality it, it isn't. And bingo, she is widowed, okay? Now, I'm going to have to go through my notifications. I'm going to kind of get off my page here for a second so I can actually go all the way to them because I get quite a few notifications. And this is how I had actually seen this person. And I hate to see people get their hopes up. I There's been several people that I know that think they're talking to a real person. They really get their hopes up thinking that 
they either found the love of their life or when it comes to the woman and the woman asking for, you know, I'm just going to do this a different way. Okay, I found it. On one of my friend's page, I noticed that this particular female had tagged this person and 35 other people. Thanks so much for helping me. And I see she deleted my comment. She has an invitation to join PayPal. I had commented and I said, Please, I hope you people do not fall for this. I hope you do not give this person money. Okay. One person did comment and say, no, I have had it before where I have tried to help people out. And I've said, look, they do. And it's how they make their, their money. They talk to men, give them these sob stories. And I understand men feel, you feel like you're helping somebody. Unfortunately, this person, you don't know who they really are, and it's no different than a man asking for money. Why can't this person, everybody, everybody needs money. Heck, heck, I need money. You want to send me money? I'll send you a, a link to my PayPal. They'll be like, oh, well, she's so sweet. You know, she has four kids. So now that I did a search for her name and I am looking, I'm seeing that... She actually has, I see, there is two pages with the same name and the pictures look the same. One lives in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I can guarantee that if I message this other woman that she is going to say that her page has been copied. That would be my guess. So I am actually going to do that. But the other one, I am suffering from depression, 51 comments. I wish I had some heavy, heavy medication. Now, these are the type of posts that they will do to try to make men and possibly women feel guilty into sending them money. And a lot of men don't, they just really don't care. They're like, well, I sent her money because she needed a phone. If they, if you really want to do that, that's great. I'm just telling you that these, these women make a living off of doing that. And they are never going to learn if you keep on doing that. Now, if you... Like I said, I just did a search for this woman's name and you can... It, sort it by what you mine is by the top you can post you can sort it by people photos latest so it popped up with anything that she has posted that is public now if you still really are not sure on mine i can go to mine i can look at my about section and all of my info is on here but do a search. I'm going to do a search for my name, my location, okay? Kenosha, Wisconsin. And bingo, we have Karen Ross on Facebook. Where did my cursor go? Okay. We have Karen Ross in the white pages. Karen Ross, my life. It even has my middle name with my age. Okay. So you will get something. A lot of, if you do a search for somebody's name and nothing pops up, that is another red flag. Another thing you can do is you can actually save their photo. I could go to my photo. I could save it. Go to Google image search search for that image and make sure that that image is not being used somewhere else. So I really hope that this helps somebody out. Like I said, it seems very simple, very easy, but believe it or not, there are still a lot of people that fall for this and they are getting better at what they are, how they are going about doing it. So I have other videos out there. Um, I try to help people with 
whatever it is. This is my page. Thanks.